Hey guys, JJ back here this time to give you another free pick for Monday, April 29th. It's going to be the Rockies versus the Brewers, Kyle Freeland versus Zach Davies. Uh, seeing the line right now, Rockies plus 105, total 9. Game's going to be played 740 Eastern. Uh, we grab a win with the under Houston versus Cleveland, 8.5. Uh, game lands 4-1 in favor of Houston. Uh, this brings us up to 18-7 and in MLB thus far. Uh, look, the play tomorrow... Uh, will be the Rockies as a Pepto-Bismol upset stomach special. Um, look, uh, we're currently not sponsored by Pepto-Bismol, uh, but I am a big for, uh, fan of their product line. Uh, you'll notice the bottle that I showed you was about halfway done. Um, I typically down a shot or two of Pepto before I go to sleep at night. Uh, my stomach always thanks me for it in the morning. I'm just really a fan of the taste. I, I you know, I know it probably has some side effects, but look. Um, the side effects can't be that bad. I mean, you've never heard of anybody dying from overdosing on Pepto Bismol, uh, so I'm not I'm not really concerned. And I just I really love the the taste and quality of the product. And uh, really, my stomach's been doing wonders uh, wonders for it. Now I know the Rockies are only plus 105 here, and I know some of you may be going, "Wow, plus 105, such a bold prediction." Uh, anybody who's thinking that can blow me, uh, because here's the thing. So I'm as I'm sure you already know. From my prior videos, I'm a huge Kyle Freeland fan. Um, you know, he had a big year last year. I just, I love his game. Um, he's just a real, a real good finesse pitcher. He doesn't blow you away with anything, anything crazy. And you could argue that Zach Davies is somewhat similar, but he's not as uh, quote unquote as sexy of a pitcher as Kyle Freeland is. Not talking looks here, guys. Relax. Talking strikeouts. Uh, Davies doesn't really strike anybody out. Freeland, uh, Freeland definitely has has some uh, some good stuff to uh, to definitely sit guys down. Now. Um, I said in Zach Davies' last start uh, that he's been far more lucky than good, um, and he couldn't even get out of the fifth inning versus the Cardinals in his last start. Look, hitters are hitting him at 267, yet his ERA is only 1.65. It's it's wild. Um, look, as I said, he's not a strikeout pitcher, which helps reinforce really how lucky that low ERA has been thus far. I want to be clear that Zach Davies is not a mutt, because um, I, I have no problem dropping, dropping the word mutt when I refer to shit pitchers uh, on this channel. He's not. He's he's good. He's just not pitching nearly as good as his ERA indicates. His line drive rate's near 25%, and that's going to have to come down if he's going to sustain anywhere near to the success he's had to date. Uh, and he gets quite the tough test here at home um, in his hitter's park. Now, the Brewers um, have uh, have backed right-handed pitching. I mean, have hit right-handed pitching pretty well this year, but sit right in the middle of the pack versus left-handed pitching. Obviously, Freeland's going to come at them from the left side. Uh, the Brewers are, are practically teabagging right-hand pitchers thus far. Big reason for that is, is really uh, on Christian Yelich. Just had a tremendous start to the year. Definitely an early runner, early front runner for MVP. Um, but he did leave the game against the Mets last, uh, uh, today with uh, with some flare-ups with his back, um, and it would be shocking if the Brewers turn around and force him to play tomorrow night. Um, on such a quick turnaround. Council even said that um, uh, Yelich would probably not play tomorrow night. He's easily worth 15 to 20 VIG to a line, in my opinion. So, um, you know, definitely an advantage for us on the Rockies there. Uh, on the other side, as I said, Kyle Freeland is just a stud. He returns from his 10-day DL stint uh, due to a blister. And his ERA sits at 4.23, nothing, you know, nothing incredible. But advanced numbers show this will begin to come back down. He's really only had one bad start this year, and it was against Atlanta. Otherwise, he hasn't let up more than three runs in any start uh, this season, um, with his most recent start being at home against Philly, where he went six shutout. That was a play we gave out on this channel. Um, and hitters are touching up Freeland only at a 219 average, uh, which is obviously good and much better than Zach Davies' 267 average. I'm not a big average ERA guy because I think there's a little, there's a decent amount of luck that goes into both of them. Um, you know, some some balls that, that that are weak contact that fall in, maybe some balls that get misplayed by outfielders that don't get counted as errors. Same thing with the infielders. I'm not big onto ERA um, and batting average per se exacts, but you can look at advanced numbers to tell. Either way. Freeland, Freeland's ERA should be lower than Davies, yet it's almost three points higher. Uh, as for the lineups, with Murphy back in this Rockies lineup, it's quite potent, and they're playing really well. If Donaldson doesn't hit a three-run homer today in the eighth inning, uh, the Rockies actually sweep the Braves in Atlanta. This team has won 10 of 13, and as I've said in the past, this Rockies team is one of the streakiest in baseball, with all the pop in their, in their bats uh, from start to finish in their lineup. The big surprise, though, to date has been their bullpen. Um, they are fifth in baseball at 3.4 e, uh 3.4 ERA. Uh, so Freeland will be putting the ball, will be in good hands once he exits this game. The Brew Crew has plenty of dangerous bats, but their righties just aren't hitting enough consistently. Kane, Braun, Aguiar, Perez all aren't hitting above 275. I mean, 
And, uh, and Kane is the only guy hitting above 228. With no Yelich, this lineup certainly takes a big hit. For this game tomorrow, we have the better pitcher in Freeland. With Ye and with Yelich out, we have the better lineup. We have the better bullpen to date. The Rockies have been a much hotter team as well. This game is going to be played in Milwaukee, but it's the lone advantage the Brew Crew actually has. Um, at plus 105, the Rockies are very favorable in this spot. So give me them. Plus 105 versus the Brewers. Kyle Freeland versus Zach Davies um, on... Um, Monday, April 29th. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. As always, thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, please feel free to drop comments below. Last video, you guys were awesome with the comments. Definitely. I know it's a little shorter slate on Monday, so feel free to um, ask any questions or any leads you have on, on games. This will be the only game we give out on the channel. But um, again, uh, any comments below, definitely uh, feel free to drop them. And I will try to get the Pops to do a uh, Kentucky Derby video. I know the Derby's this Saturday, and I know all you degenerates are, uh, are looking forward to it. So I'm going to try to get him to come on and do a video for it. I know you guys will enjoy it. Uh, but other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will be back soon.